Welcome to Dr. Lovesky Gaming. My name is Sean, and today I wanted to talk about my first impressions of Octavia based on the uh, live stream today, where we got to see her full stats and all the skills and abilities that she has. Here you can see her full stats. Um, you can tell she doesn't have that much health, but based on her last ability, Imperial Guard, she shouldn't be taking any damage as long as the rest of the team is still alive. Now her first ability, Distortion of Fate, uh, will summon a huge mirror behind her allies for 6 seconds, and while it's active, it will reflect uh, damage back at the enemies every time an ally dodges. And this is based on 50% of her health plus 3600. Now you can increase this by increasing her health using like Aiden for example. Um, so that'll increase the amount of max damage that she's able to deflect at the enemy. And it's worth noting that it can't be copied, so Faceless won't be able to copy it. The next ability is Favorite of the Empress, where she applies a buff to the furthest forward ally that she started the battle with. Uh, it increases their dodge for 6 seconds. Now Eternity Heroes will receive an even better buff, but this seems to be the only ability she has that is locked to Eternity Heroes. So I don't think she's only going to be good on an Eternity team. I think she'll actually be useful with other heroes as well. Uh, especially dodge heroes that like to stand in the front, such as Aurora, or um, Ishmael, or Elmir, or um, Dante. Now in my case, I will be using Corvus most likely, so he'll get the increased dodge chance by being an Eternity hero. There may also be times where it makes sense to use another dodge hero as a tank. For example, Dante, or maybe even Elmir if you're using like a Daredevil team in which case she might be really useful on those teams as well. Octavia's third skill, Moment of Concentration, is a buff that increases armor penetration for three seconds, and this same buff will apply every time one of your allies dodges any damage. And the bonus armor penetration here will increase as her physical attack increases, so if you have some physical attack artifact weapons on your team, this will also increase the armor penetration. Also, maybe having Nebula next to her would be useful. Her final skill, Imperial Guard, basically allows her to not be the target of skills or attacks as long as the rest of your team, or at least someone from the rest of your team that you started with, is still alive. And this, to me, actually seems really useful, especially as a backline hero, because I think this can actually counter Jorgen's curse which directs all the damage to the back line. So if the rest of the team is still alive and Jorgen is redirecting the damage to the back line, it either will not affect her or may just hit the next in line. I'm not sure, we'll have to do some testing. I'd also be curious to see what this does with uh, Ju attacking the back line. So I'd be curious to see if his damage is stopped or if it just gets redirected somewhere else. And then the uh, energy gain portion of this is actually a nice bonus because in the past, when heroes would dodge damage, they wouldn't get any energy gain. Um, so this allows them to get some energy for dodging, which they're going to be doing a lot with Octavia on the team. Overall, I'm excited for this new hero, especially because it's an Eternity hero, and that's my favorite faction. Um, I look forward to trying new team combinations and testing this hero out as soon as she is released. Uh, let me know what you think of the hero so far and what you plan on running her with. Thanks for watching.